Hi there, it's Kevin, and today I am going to be playing Realm of the Mad God. Just checking out where everything is all set up. Hello, Kim XCXC1. How are you doing today? Uh, everything looks good. I can get started. Hello, Sam Pep twenty seven hundred. How are you doing? How has your day been? <laughs> Hello, Laurel. The glitch says, "I am error. Press any key to restart." Hmm. My day has been pretty good. I have uh, gotten a few small tasks accomplished. Got to play some Realm of the Mad God a little earlier. Uh, for those who have watched my YouTube videos, specifically my original new player experience videos, not the new new player experience videos. Um, this is that priest that I ended that video series with. I had decided when I did my new new player experience videos that I was not going to continue on with the old new player experience videos. And so I have decided I will just play this as a regular character. So this morning, I um, equipped him and ran him out and leveled him to 20. So this is my very old new priest. <laughs> Neona underscore underscore, thank you for the follow. Usually, once I'm this level, I try to start looking for snake pits. So, like there, for instance, trying to kill a lizard god. Um, but I noticed uh, when I started up this character, this character had not actually <laughs> done any dungeons at all. Um, so, hello, Kim XCXCX. So right now I'm kind of looking for, for snake pits, but I'm also kind of looking for, well, I, I, I did, while I was running him up levels, I did a pirate cave and I did a forest maze and I did a forbidden jungle and I did a hive, but I have not, I haven't done a spider den with this character yet, which I would like to do, so. You'll see me 
detouring down into the Midlands. <laughs> Where I will not find any, um, oh, this is, I won't find any snake pits, obviously. But that's because I'm kind of looking for uh, spider dens as well. And as I, I'm going to leave a lurk. Okay. Enjoy your lurk. Um, anyone have any free swords? I don't care what tier. Uh, so, so if somebody gave that person a tier zero sword, they'd be happy, I guess. Well... If you've accidentally dropped your weapon and didn't manage to pick it up before it disappeared, I suppose any sword would do. Oh, and speaking of spider dens, I, if, if, you'll, if you've watched my previous streams, you know I find spider dens relaxing. <laughs> And I enjoy the sound that the uh, spiders make when you kill them. So, might be a little boring, but... Hopefully not, not too terribly boring. When I finally find a spider den, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take. For some reason, it seems that when you want a specific dungeon, it never drops. The last time I was looking for a spider den, I killed, I don't know, something like a dozen, 15 weir lions. Not a single spider den dropped. Okay, well, I am going to go into that snake pit. Uh, so, this way? Nope. This is the opposite way, but snake pits often are very convoluted, so, well, there's nothing there. So, head back to the beginning. this way then. And we have found Steno. Yeah, that was nice. No, nope. drink the potion. I do not think I'm going to go for treasure rooms this time. So, back in the direction of the Midlands.
shield. Nope. Excuse me. Waiting for these stupid lines to get out of my way. There's a pink bag almost directly on top of a purple bag <laughs> there. feel like going against Akage Kami right now. Getting a lot of people teleporting to me. Oh, come on. Just dodged right into that shot. <laughs> A movement pattern that you can avoid almost all those shots. I was not following it most of the time there. Ah. T 
E3 spell. Nope. Here. Where is your king? Three throwing star or shuriken. Nope. Probably pick up a T3 tome. Since I do not think I have any saved tomes, but. Hey, there we are, Spider Den. <sighs> Ooh, nobody in here. Well, almost nobody in here. Yeah, I like, I mean, the sound that they make when they die, and I also enjoy um, oh, using this as a place to practice dodging. I really think that you should be able to make it through a spider den without getting hit even once. The shot patterns are fairly predictable. So each time <laughs> I don't dodge out of the way of a shot, I must have made a mistake. So I just try to do better each time. There are occasionally some of the bigger spiders will rush up on you and shoot you where you really have a chance to react. Or at least before I have a chance to react. I can imagine that because I'm older, my reaction time is a little slowed. But uh, you can see, I mean, I'm... Oh, there, I dodged right into that shot. That was a mistake, and I didn't dodge out of the way of that shot. See, uh, lots of lots of shots, and I'm dodging most of them. <laughs> but paying attention to the mini map to see where the points are coming from. Knowing how the shot patterns happen of the uh, various types of spiders in here. You should, oh, what did I just do? You should be able to eventually make it through a spider den without getting hit. Obviously, as a priest, it's not a huge tragedy if <laughs> if one of the little green spiders hits me with a shot. That's, yeah, I rushed in too fast there. That's why it's, it's good to practice here, where it 
isn't going to uh, kill you if you make a mistake. I didn't pull out fast enough. Priest, because it's a wand character, it has, has the ability to shoot at these things from a very long distance away. So the mini map is more important than, say, with a, a sword character. in too fast. Yeah, you need to look at the mini-map just to see the, uh, well, you can off-center and rotate instead. But this is the way I've always played. I have played centered and not using rotation. Feel like adding adding that variable in now. Wow, there's a lot of eggs in there. Yeah, obviously, if you're a lower level character, your speed is lower. It's harder to do the dodging, so. Really. And also, often, you won't have the armor or hit points. But you can just laugh off any hits in here. <laughs> But, once you're at 20th level, you have some reasonably decent armor or defense. However you get your defense. You should just practice dodging. Oh, yeah. And not do what I just did. <laughs> um... Think about a bullet hell. This is nowhere near bullet hell, obviously, but the, all the shots can sometimes be confusing or cause you to panic. This kind of, you can prepare yourself for that here. Just go in, pop a whole bunch of eggs, <laughs> and then get used to having an enormous number of shots coming at you. For how long have you been playing Realm of the Mad God? Um, so I started playing about not quite eight years ago. Um, however, I have taken several breaks. So all together, I mean, you can look at my fame history for this character in on Realmai um, to get a better idea. But so over four years, unless you're talking about just today, and then I started it, well, a little less than half an hour ago. Yeah, the... Uh, And even though I have been playing for eight years, I am far from an expert or an elite player. I am just play for fun. Do I need any of these? Maybe? That. So, hopefully that answers your question.
That's nice. I just can't keep playing a game for a long time. Always searching for something new. I I play a lot of different games. Um, lately, I've been playing a little bit more Realm of the Mad God just because people seem to like to watch me play Realm of the Mad God. So, And I enjoy the game. So, yeah, let's play some more Realm of the Mad God. But if you go to my YouTube channel... You will see that I like to play all sorts of different kinds of games. I have a lot of games. <laughs> I have maybe too many games. Um, so it's not that I, I'm constantly playing Realm of the Mad God. And that's another reason probably why I took months or years off from Realm of the Mad God. I got, I got a little tired of it. And I just decided to put it down for a while and then pick it up again. All right, so I don't think, I don't think I have any other dungeon in the Midlands that I'd be looking for. So now it's just snake pits. Any free item. Hmm. have such limited vault space that I, uh, I do have items that I intend to give away, but I intend to give them to uh, people in my guild. Kind of thank you gifts for people who have, who have joined my guild. I don't really have anything that I would consider... Oh, wow, did that actually... Yeah, that does damage, huh? I did not know that. Does that? No, that does not. Oh, well. So now... I am primarily looking for snake pits so I can get potions of speed. And I will therefore be mostly in the lower area of the highlands because that's where a lot of the creatures that drop snake pit portals live. There is one of them. Just kill off all the things that he has spawned. Nope, no snake pit. Oh, there's another one now. Hey, he dropped a snake pit and a T2 ring that I don't want. So yeah, I play... Um, First-person shooters, uh, story-based games, platformers. Um, obviously, I'm playing a massively multiplayer online role-playing game here. Uh, but in addition to video games, I also play um, tabletop role-playing games, board games. So, uh, what else? I like to play pinball. <laughs> I mean, I just, I have a lot of games that I play. In fact, if you're uh, looking at my stream on the web, there is a panel below the stream that's about me. There's a spot where it looks like there's one link 
uh, that says all sorts of games, something like that. I don't remember the exact wording, but, but you can look down there and see it. Um, it's actually several links to my Video Game Geek, uh, Board Game Geek, whoa, and RPGGeek.com um, list of games that I own. So it's not a complete inventory. I, mean, I can't find all of my games. They're somewhere, you know, stored in a box or whatever. But if you look at that, you will see I have a lot of games. <laughs> so I understand the, you know, get bored with a game thing. And if I had to play the same game forever, I would go nuts. I really enjoy Realm of the Mad God, but I, I would really want to take time out occasionally and just play other games. Hey, Jim, how are you doing today? Everybody, Jim Racer is a streamer. He lives in the same general area of the world that I do. I have met him in person. He is a good guy and a good streamer. You should go follow him if you are not following him. And this is the point where... <laughs> this is the point where uh, most people would do a shout out in chat but I'm not pro enough to have a bot running on my channel to do stuff like that. So you'll just have to figure out how to get to his channel on your own. How are things with you, Jim? Are you going stir crazy yet with the stay at home order? <laughs> I know people who already have played a lot of video games have a sort of a leg up on people who most of their enjoyment is to go out. This whole not being able to go into the office thing has me all screwed up. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case for a lot of people. Oh, no, I want to take the potion of speed, not pick it up and drop it again. Yeah, the people I really feel for are the people who who can't work from home and whose businesses have been basically shut down. Like, I don't go out and do things anyway, but at least the office gave me a routine and an excuse to leave the apartment once in a while. Yeah. the whole perimeter of this place and then I can see if there's okay so down there it looks like there's another path I'm going to search for treasure rooms
that up. Earlier when I was in the spider den, I was talking about the little green spiders and how they don't really, they can't really sh shoot you hard enough to hurt. That's the same thing is true for these tiny little spite, tiny little snakes. Sorry. Um, their their damage is almost nothing. It's just irritating when they make you go ah 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 all the time. <laughs> so two exits from this room. But, because I am a priest, and I have a healing pet, the little, little snakes are not much of a problem. These big snakes, on the other hand, and the medium-sized snakes, which there aren't any in this room, but they can hit hard enough <laughs> to actually matter. Stunning Ivy! Hi! Hello! Stunning Ivy is another streamer, another great streamer. I enjoy her streams very much. She was away from streaming for a while, but has come back just recently. You, every one of you, should give Stunning Ivy a follow. Yeah, you can, <laughs> sometimes when you break into one of these rooms, all these like big snakes will be waiting right there for you. And because they can hit hard, uh, that can certainly, <laughs> I'm gonna need a much bigger and more enthusiastic wave than that, really. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. So, even being a priest and having a healing pet doesn't help you when a whole bunch of those big snakes just waiting for you <laughs> and then launch a vast number of attacks all at once. It can be scary. Okay, now I must run busy, busy times in Coronaville. Yes, uh... Stunning, Stunning Ivy is a healthcare worker, so you can imagine um, how busy she is right now. So, I believe the exits from... Hello, Titanium Taz! How are you doing today? I hope everyone is washing their hands off and taking their shoes off at the door. Sanitizing keys, debit cards, as well as hands. Sir Matthew, hello. Hey, Mystic Hey, Mystic is a good class. Um, yes, <laughs> Mystic is a good class. I, that would normally be phrased, is Mystic a good class? But yes, I think all of the classes have 
their positives and their negatives. I think uh, the game does a reasonably good job of balancing things. Hello, Linky. How are you doing today? Great. Got beaten down in my last meeting, so this is my sanity break. Okay, well, um, quit doing that. Sometime we are going to have to play Realm of the Mad God together again, Titanium Taz. Obviously not right now because you're working, but... Uh, some evening when you are available, let me know and I will play with you. Yeah, for all that I enjoy running spider dens, you don't really get anything. I mean, if, you, if you're a low enough level character, you might get something out of a spider. Oh, there's only one remaining hero of Oryx before we uh, all zip off to uh, Oryx's castle. You might get something if you're a low enough level character. But... If you've been playing for a while, nothing you get out of the spider den is going to be useful. The dagger is okay. I do not like the ring. Oh, the realm is closed. Well... I will continue bopping about the realm. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. Maybe looking for snake pits. Maybe killing stupid urgles. Blind and armor broken. That's a great combo. And weak. Um, we. Um, T hmm. three sphere. Nope. Ah. Um. Hmm. Do I want to spend any time in? Uh, I can hang back. Occasionally give healing.
Okay. I am getting really bad lag. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Um that the lag there was just terrible. I was noticing <laughs> monsters like phasing through walls. <laughs> Rubber banding. It was not good. So I felt it was time to leave before the lag killed me. I have been killed by lag a number of times. I do not enjoy it. I do not feel that is a fair way to die. If I'm being stupid and my stupidity kills me, I'm, I'm fine with that. But if a sudden lag spike hits and that's what kills me, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, there, I mean, I was seeing all sorts of lag, so I went, nah, not going to stick around. So that, if I'd stayed around after seeing all that lag, that would have been, once again, my stupidity. But sometimes it just hits you all at once, and then you go from just being fine to just being dead. And of course it happens a lot in Oryx's castle just because it's hard for the game to keep up with all of that activity. There's so much happening at once. Hopefully in the new version, they will do something to adjust for that. All right, why do I not have any quest? Oh, there's a quest. Might not necessarily be looking to go to that quest, though Cyclops God, I could go after that one without a problem. Um, but at least it points me in the direction of the Highlands, <laughs> so I can can start farming for, uh, or grinding for, however you want to put it, snake pits. Come on, there. Yeah. So that I can Boost my speed. Yeah, the, those sudden lag spikes that kill you, those are usually due to internet issues. I've also had a very underpowered PC at one time, and uh, that can have a lag effect as well. slowing me. Oh. 
Ah, we have come to... Well, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I really should turn that off if I'm not going to use it. Alright, where are you? There you are. And I still don't feel like going up against a Kagekami. There is the lizard god. Uh, all right, now. Where is your king? There he is. And neither of you dropped the snake pit that I want. You are the Lizard King, you know? I don't think so. And nope. I don't need that. Continuing to stay here in the lower stretches of the highlands. Oh, that's all right. Eventually, I'll find more snake pits. Come on. And T3 skull. Nope. Oh, there's a leviathan in the area. No thanks. <laughs> I really need to get used to their shot pattern. But, uh, not right now. Brandon Lanicky, hello. Are you playing legit or do you take donations? I do not take donations. I mean, look at, look at my equipment. If I took donations, <laughs> that would be, uh, yeah, kind of pathetic. And I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's illegitimate if a friend wants to give you something or a guild mate. But uh, that's your opinion. I guess you are certainly entitled to your opinion but no i do not take donations i've been offered donations many times from people who could give me all sorts of awesome gear but i decided when i was going to start streaming realm of the mad god that i would not take donations and i wouldn't do trades 
at least not in the normal sense. If I'm gifting something to somebody and I can't just like drop it on the ground, I'll do a trade to get it to them. For instance, when somebody joins my guild, I like to give them a thank you or welcome gift. Um, and I used to do trades before before I started streaming. I did plenty of trades, but uh, I just felt that um, people would would want to unfairly benefit me. <laughs> I guess it would it would take some fun out of the game if people were to say, "Oh yes, I will take that that healing icker and give you a T12 robe." Uh No. <laughs> no. But no, I don't I don't feel that Anybody else needs to play the game the way I do. Or that my way of playing is the right way. And everybody else is wrong. No, that's, that's absolutely not the way I feel about it. I play the way I do because it's the way that I enjoy playing. It's, it, it's the most fun for me. So, if other ways of playing are fun for other people, they can go ahead and play that way. And I'm not being judgy about it or anything. All right, what's up here? Most humble <laughs> Realm of the Mad God player ever. Um... Well, I guess. Fair enough. I didn't see that. And then most humble realm of the Mad God player. Would you like help finding snake pits? Um, you know, I don't mind if somebody wants to, to come along. Uh, if they enjoy doing that, that's fine. And I'll even run the snake pits with them. Oh, come on. I don't like being armor broken. Stop that. Uh, wow. That's a lot of undead dwarves all at once. But I'm trying to concentrate on this Urgul, guys. Yeah, before I started streaming, I played this game almost like it was a single-player game. I would almost never go into dungeons with other people. Nobody wanted to hang out with me. So, you know, I never had groups running with me. Um... I'm, I'm really a lot more used to that way of playing, but I don't mind. Cool. I'll message you in-game when I spot a pit. Okay. Um, so another weird way, <laughs> another way that I'm weird is I try to keep the boots on the ground. <laughs> um, the boots on the ground bonus. And I have said... Uh, there's many weird things about me, by the way. Uh, not just the way I play Realm of the Mad God, but... Um, so, somebody saying, you know, Snake Pit or Pit... <laughs> ...is nice, but I'm not going to teleport to them. <laughs> because I'm trying to keep boots on the ground. Uh. And I have said that if I ever... And this is never, I've never even gotten close. But if I ever reach 2,000 base fame with a character, I will start teleporting. I feel boots on the ground is completely unfeasible unless you do only <laughs> lost halls runs. 
Kevin is weird? I wasn't listening. Did I miss him making this shocking revelation? You know, to people who really know me, that is not a re revelation at all, and certainly not shocking. Um, and for those of you who don't know it, Laurel Cron is my wife, so she certainly knows that I am weird in many ways. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you don't like, oh, there's a uh, snake pit. Let's see if I can get to it before it goes away. Yes. Um, if you don't like uh, traversing the, the realm, it's, it, 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 I imagine for some people it is incredibly painful to keep boots on the ground. Um, but it, the only time I really uh, find it annoying is if I'm out on a peninsula and the quest it's showing me like leads to a beach. And then, you know, I try to get off the beach to get to the quest. Hey, Linky! Hello! Welcome! Sorry, I'm in a snake pit right now, so you can't join me, but uh, obviously... Oh, great. That's, that's interesting. That's lag. So I am guessing that was lag caused by an internet issue. But it wouldn't let me move down the corridor through the area that I had opened up. Anyway, so sometimes I do find it a little frustrating. And people running with me, um, obviously, they, they probably are somewhat frustrated as well um, and wish that I, I didn't want to keep boots on the ground. But I, usually, I don't mind. I don't mind the, the travel, the trip, the journey to get to where I'm going. I know that it must slow, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, slow the rate at which I uh, level and uh, gain fame, because I spend a bunch of time in the lowlands and near the beach. But uh, I'm not in a big hurry, really. Speeding through the game is absolutely not something I, I am looking for. Let's see. Crystal Cavern is uncompletable as boots because the dungeon TPing you counts as a TP. Ugh, well... <laughs> That's kind of unfair. I mean, if it's if 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 it's forced upon you, I think that it should count against you. But uh, well, I guess my my opinion was not asked for when when that decision was made. So not much I can do about it. Uh, yeah, tiny snakes. So maybe that's a, a dungeon I will not do until <laughs> I've reached 2,000 base fame with a character. And that will probably happen someday. I mean, I've gotten four stars on what, four different character classes. So it's not a huge jump up. It's not easy, obviously, since I've never done it. But it's not a huge jump up from four star to five star. It's not like you had to would have to get two million fame. It's only two thousand fame versus the eight hundred for four star. 
I have not. I have not gotten anything. Special since I got the uh, wand of the bulwark a while ago. Hey, a T9 dagger, that's nice. The new items are really good if you don't mind losing speed. Um, Okay. Come on. All right, and I am going to go for treasure rooms. And they drop from the snake pit boss and her flying snakes. Oh, I haven't gotten anything like that from the snake pit. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's still one. One of you guys left in here. Me and Unker already got the armor. It was back to back too. Wow. <laughs> oh, and I didn't say, welcome in doc. And I hope you're having a good day. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Okay. What is that? Another one of those. Is my backpack full? My backpack is full. I know I don't need that. Whoa! I looked away at just the wrong time. Just as that horde of large snakes were firing at me. <laughs> um, wow, that was poor timing on my part. Fortunately, I am a priest and could do something about it. Heal myself. So, right. mm -hmm. Well, hello everybody who is watching the stream today. I hope you are enjoying the stream. There's a new prism that that's really troll because all it does is spawn a fake white bag on your cursor. Wow. <laughs> that that is cruel. <laughs> hey, a treasure room. Come on. 
Yeah, I got baited by it when I... <laughs> yeah. I imagine that some people get really excited. <laughs> and then it's like, nope, it was fake. April Fools. Yeah. How much longer is it going to take for you to die? Jeez. I mean, I know I'm only using a T9-1, but still. Finally. Wow. All right. And a potion and an exciting T7 heavy crossbow. Ah. That was a lot of work for a potion of speed, but I want those potions of speed. I don't really need any more snake oils. Well, how many do I have? I got one there and five more there. that why I think I saw one of those white bags in the Nexus and I was like what is a white bag doing in the Nexus fun fact the t7 crossbow is better than the t8 hitting two out of yeah, two out of its three shots I believe whoa that was that was orange very fast for me um, what I have, I think, is a T10 in my vault. So. I think there's something. I think that there are exits from the starting room I have not explored yet yes I do not like seeing those black areas up along the walls why I can't really tell you though I have actually run into times where a tunnel will fork. It won't be two tunnels coming off of a room. It'll be a tunnel and then a, another tunnel coming off of the first tunnel. And let's see. No, no, I went that way already. And I, no, it's in the wrong area. There we are. So there's this and this yet. There's really enough room for a treasure room, but we'll look anyway, because I want to do a complete clear, or as complete as you can make it for the snake pit. Well, that was not that exciting. One room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be there's not going to be enough room here for a treasure room, but I want to do a clear of everything except for those tiny snakes, which there's an infinite number of them, so not possible to clear them. That's everybody here. So Leaving large areas, I mean, the one square isn't going to have a tunnel, but leaving large areas black like that 
bugs me because there might be a fork. Are you single? No. I am married. Um, my wife, I don't know if she's still in chat, but she was in chat earlier. That was the wrong way. Uh, so, yes, I've been married for um, 14 years as of this past September. Oh, heck. <laughs> You're disappointed that I am married. You know, I'm really, really old. I mean, can't be that disappointed that I'm married. Okay, finally done with that snake pit. And I did get two potions of speed out of it. Ten more to go. You look 30. I think think that there must be something wrong with your monitor. <laughs> I have been told I look younger than I am. Um, because I am 58 years old. Uh, but I've been told that I look about 10 years younger than that. So, yeah, I am really, really old. There are older streamers on Twitch than I am, but there's not a lot. I mean, I'm, it's a very small percentage. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Sometimes I'll be in a stream and somebody will be saying, oh, I'm very old. And how old are they? Well, they're 36. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's very funny. You're very, very old. Um, I mean, 36 is, is not, you know, a kid. It's a full-grown adult, someone who's been an adult for a long time. He used to ride a... He used to write? Uh, I'm pretty sure you meant ride. He brought a Saurus to school. That is not true. <laughs> I did not live in the world of the Flintstones, which is a cartoon that's probably old enough that most of you don't know what it is, but it was a, a cartoon, a prime time cartoon, um, where they had human beings living alongside all the dinosaurs. So, yeah, really historically accurate. 36 used to be old back in the 1700s. Yes, that is true. Hydro1277. Hello, what server are you playing on? Um, I am playing on US Midwest 2. I play on it because it tends to be um, less populated. I do occasionally play on other servers, but this is my sort of default server. It's the one I have set. And just so you know, if you haven't watched me before, I am very weird. <laughs> and I play, I play the game in a strange way. So it might get irritating for you. That's just a warning. I should probably warn everybody who asks me what server I'm on. Because I assume if you're asking what server I'm on, you, you want to know because you want to join up with me. And um, that's fine. I don't mind people joining on me. But, yeah. You, I, I, I'm sort of like a hyper, hyperactive toddler. Just <laughs> plus, I try to keep boots on the ground, so trying to follow me could be a a chore. <laughs> yeah, I'll get distracted and wander somewhere, and you'll be like, "Why? What? What? What possessed him? Why is he going in that direction? Why would you ever do what he just did?" Don't you have some goal? <laughs> Why don't you just teleport somewhere? 
Things like that, I'm sure, have been often said about me. But for right now, my general goal, obviously, being a hyperactive toddler, I, uh, I will veer from the goal frequently, but <laughs> my general goal is I'm looking for snake pits, monsters that will generate snake pits, so that I can get potions of speed, so that I can max my speed. Most people just teleport to Godlands or where, whatever dungeon is called. Yeah, I imagine that is true, and that is not the way I play. And once again, I, I want to keep saying this because people might think, oh, he's, he's dissing the other people who do it this way. Nope. The way I do it is because it's fun for me to do it this way. Mostly fun. Not always fun, but mostly. You want to join a good guild. Uh, no, I, I have a terrible guild of my own. Okay, it's not terrible, but... <laughs> I created a guild of my own because I knew no one would ever want me in their guild if they knew what I was like. You basically have to teleport to realm bosses because they die in five seconds. Um, anyway, but I do have a few people who have joined my guild. I am surprised at that. Um, what did I, I thought I shot that. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm... I, you know, almost flabbergasted that anyone had wanted to join my guild. There are a couple of people who are, like, really good friends, and I figure, oh, they're, they're joining their, my guild because I'm their friend. I'm the founder of a Africa. Um, yes, Linky there is one of the people who joined my guild, and I was, you're racist if you don't join. Um, that's, I, I don't know how to prove otherwise, but no, I do not believe I am racist because I don't join your guild. I created this guild myself for myself, and I don't want to leave my own guild. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that Linky decided to join my guild, I it, I, uh, I have no idea why. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Kevin is the last person who is racist in Realm of the Mad God. Well, thank you. I'd like to think that I... I'm quite obviously not racist. Yes, someday I hope my guild is a little better, but... Well, right now, it's it's a nice little guild with a few people in it. In another streamer, someone literally made accounts used to hack, used a hack to make them follow the streamer, and the accounts had racist names. Wow, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I. Uh... Are you accepting donations by any chance? I am not. Many people have looked at the gear that I tend to run with and, and said, I have much better gear than that. Um, but I, I decided when I was going to start streaming that I would not accept donations. I also don't do trades. I used to do trades before I started streaming and I don't do those anymore either. I just want to play with the gear that the game gives me, or 
I mean, through play or right through the login calendar or the tinkerers quests, stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not following any particular set of rules other than I'm playing the game in the way that I enjoy most. So, people have asked me if I'm playing a PPE, and I'm like, I, I don't know what the full set of rules for PPE is maybe they coincide with my way of play but uh, that's not I'm not doing that on purpose it's just the way I play trading is pretty useless nowadays anyway really huh all right which way do I need to go I need to go way down there apparently PPE is basically you aren't allowed to use items from Vault, and you can't trade with others. You can only use your pet, and I, see there, I actually picked up these items from my Vault. So I obviously am not, I'm not following the rules of PPE. But they are all items that I gained well, I'm pretty sure all of these are items I gained through play. I don't think any of the stuff that I'm carrying right now is something that I got from the Tinkerer or from uh, the login calendar. Oh, and what is it called? The mystery box shop or something? I don't remember what it's called. The place if if it's free there, I will I will take it. <laughs> but uh, I the only th oh I have reached the boss. Um, I have actually paid for uh, some keys. A few keys most of the keys I have I, I got from like the login calendar but because I also do YouTube videos and I wanted to, to do uh, specific dungeon YouTube videos and sometimes it can take forever to find a particular dungeon so I just bought keys for that and I also bought a couple of keys because I know people who are very new to realm of the mad god and I wanted to take them on some lower level dungeons without having to search for the dungeons. And there we are, another potion of speed, and no, I don't want another mark of steno. I have so many marks of steno. Okay, maybe I have nine marks of steno in my vault. Not that I have anything against steno. <laughs> she gives me many good potions of speed. In fact, I made... Steno into an emote for my channel. Come Realm. Um, well, I'm in the middle of a snake pit. I got you stuff. Okay, I do not accept donations. I, I'm a little exasperated saying that because I think that's the fourth time I've said it this stream. But thank you very much for the offer. I certainly do appreciate it. People in Realm of the Mad God have been super generous, uh, not just with offering me stuff, but with their time. People have helped me run dungeons that I, I couldn't complete solo. Uh, the, the Puppet Master Theater and the Manor of the Immortals, I've never been able to solo complete either of those. 
Um, but with Unker and Linky helping me, I've and sometimes just with Unker, sometimes just with Linky, I think. Not sure about that, but I've been able to complete the manor and hopefully haven't been too much of a, a hindrance in, in completing the manor. But yeah, the manor is, let's see, Wasted Days and Wasted Nights of the Round Table Gang. Yes, that is the, the abbreviated, hey, I found another treasure room. That is the abbreviated name of my guild. And it stands for Wasted Days and Wasted Nights of the Round Table. The whole the whole phrase is too long <laughs> to to fit within a a guild name, so I sort of abbreviated it. Oh, get back out here so I don't have to stand in the area where I get hit by arrows. Stupid guardian. Ugh. No, where are you? There you are. Take long enough to kill with this wand anyway. I don't want to have to worry about bleeding. But yes, to all of you who have offered to donate stuff to me, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the offer, but I have decided to not accept donations or do trades. And the trades thing is basically, I don't want people to try to sneak in a donation <laughs> by s saying it's a trade. I think that's the, oh, a T9 armor. That's nice. Uh, you know, I really don't need a snakeskin shield. So where do I go from here? How many bulwarks have you gotten? I have gotten one wand of the bulwarks out of the snake pits. I've run many snake pits <laughs> and gotten one. Would you accept a $5 donation? Things like that. Yes, I accept uh, bits or um, subscriptions. Uh, the general way that, that Twitch streamers uh, accept money. I, I will accept both of those. So I haven't been paying attention to chat well enough. Um, Brandon Lanicky, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Hydro1277, thank you very much for the follow. Sit on Boss, <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. And L Bear Bear, thank you very much for the follow. I certainly appreciate all the follows. Um, so yes, I will accept money in the standard way that you can give money to, to Twitch streamers. I... Um, I don't accept PayPal donations. Wow, it's another, <laughs> it's another treasure room. I have very rarely found more than one treasure room in a snake pit. But the one wand of the bulwark I got was actually from a, a treasure room guardian, so. So, do those treasure rooms. You can get good things. Uh, dazed and bleeding, that's a great combination. Uh, no, I do not need a T7 Staff of Destruction, and I do not need a Snakeskin Shield. How much speed to max? Currently seven. So I'm getting close. Um, can I exit out of the boss room? Do I have anything else left? Yes, it is. I don't think there's enough room for another treasure room, but I want to complete the dungeon anyway. 
Oh, excuse me. My goodness. So, yes, if you have bits that you would like to give me, if you have... If you have a Twitch Prime sub laying around unused, if you link, link uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, if you link your Amazon account with your Twitch account, you get one free sub. You can sub to any one streamer that you would like. I mean, free in the sense that you're paying for Twitch Prime, obviously. Um, you're paying for Amazon Prime, I mean. Uh, but it's free to you, and it, it does show support. Um, so. And gets me money, eventually. All right, let's see. What do I have to drop off here? I'm sure anybody looking at my vault is like, oh my goodness, why does he have all this garbage? Well, just accumulates, okay? <laughs> uh, T9 dagger. All right, there's another T9 dagger. Now I have to find a spot to put this. Hey, wait a minute. Why do I have a T1 ring in here? What the heck? T1 ring of defense? Um, that get there. Oh, I already have, I already had a T3. Well, I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm going to throw this T1 ring away. So. Really don't have enough enough room to. Well, I don't need any of these. Sorry. <laughs> this man vault is stacking. Okay. Um. I've seen people with much more stuff in their vault, but it tends to be much better stuff. I mean, I don't think I don't think a, a, an abyss of demons key or a manor key is garbage. I do have some good stuff in my vault, but uh, oh, I have, for instance, where is it? There, I've got a wine cellar incantation that I don't know that I'll ever run with. Because I tend to go to places where they aren't going to head to the castle. Um, should I just... Okay. I am going to dump a bunch of potions in the Nexus. Anybody wants to pick up a few potions? Yes, like that. Um, snake oil drop this bottled honey as well. Um, any of these I want to dump? I don't, I don't think so. I'm going to keep these. Ah. So once again, thank you everybody for being here. I really do appreciate it. Um, a Hinshaw died at level one, killed by a bandit leader. Well, that's sad. Yeah, it's much better. I mean, it's it's much more enjoyable to to stream knowing that there might be people watching. Of course, you all could be ignoring the stream and just just lurking, sitting there. But for for those of you who are actually watching, thank you very much. And even if you're just lurking, thanks for that because it does help. 
it does help me as a streamer and it it uh you know it's a way to show support eventually someday i would like to become a partner a twitch partner and one of the requirements is an average a, a viewer average of 75 or more i am nowhere near that <laughs> someday i may be near it but yeah lurkers and stuff like that i, I don't want bots in my channel I, the, those just annoy me but human beings who actually like my stream that's what i would like totally listening while creating documentation <laughs> yes uh-huh anyway um so yeah if you know of people who you think would like my stream and you like them maybe suggest that they watch my stream yeah this is the part that i'm sure many people would would be driven nuts by it's like well, why are you walking through the lowlands like this well, it doesn't bother me i just <laughs> Hello, Boogs. Ah, some people would even say, oh, why are you even bothering with the Midlands? Ah, uh -huh, that's dedication, Laurel. Oh, I didn't read Laurel's message. I'm listening through the basement wall some of the time. <laughs> yes. Or you could actually have my stream up, but... Since you are one of my mods, and it's easier to moderate if you can see the chat, I suppose I could yell out, Hey, Laurel! <laughs> and you would hear it. You know, Hey, Laurel, could you ban that Kevin G. Austin guy? He's a jerk. You know, something like that. Yeah, I don't think she can help it. <laughs> it was just an example. So, back to looking for snake pits. But I'll also check out any, any better bags I find. Nope, no snake pit. <laughs> Much of these guys, though. No, I don't need a T3. And what's that? A T3. Ring of defense. Well, I like rings of defense. I am weird that way. Hey, there you are. All hail the king. Not that king. That king was useless, but the... The ogre king. I don't actually need to carry that in my pouch. Snake. I don't know where you are. <laughs> so thank you for the for the the call out. I think I'm not grateful that you're helping me look for snake pits. I am. But being a weirdo, keeping boots on the ground.
might not have heard if you're new to my stream. I hate Urgles. <laughs> I I want death to all Urgles. Those uh, lines that are shot out from their black spheres cause terrible lag. I do not like lag. So I do not like Urgles. <laughs> yes, that is that is the URL for my Twitch channel. Oh, hey, I don't have any. Uh, yes, I am twitch.tv slash Kevin G. Austin. Is there? Ah, there it is. Uh, but he yielded no snake pits. Let's see, where was I? I need to ban you. No, that was just an example. As I said, there are too many things streaming right now that I'm interested in. <laughs> wow, mod banning their streamer. That'd be a first. Uh, but I don't want to degrade Kevin's stream. I mean, we probably have the bandwidth, but I can also online listen to or watch so many things at once yeah i think listening i mean if it's like an audio stream i don't think that that's going to cause a bandwidth issue if you're if you're streaming like four different video streams at once that would be a problem in fact more than one if you are streaming more than one video stream at once it's probably going to cause a problem <laughs> All right, where is your king? There he is, down here. Ah, uh, Shayna, hello. Hello, hot dog Alicia. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, and thank you very much, Hot Dog Alicia, for that raid. Everybody, both Amazulu Gaming and Hot Dog Alicia are great streamers. You should give them a follow. All right, that was a little busy. What are you gonna do after you max speed on all of your characters? Um, well, in general, the plan is to um, start looking for uh, sprite worlds because they're easy to run and you can get, uh, what is it, dexterity, I think, and defense out of them. In addition to being great streamers, they are also both, yeah, you get decks and rarely get deaf, yeah. Uh, in addition to being great streamers, <sighs> Amazula Gaming and Hot Dog Alicia are both on the, I, it's, it's somewhere on my stream there, probably right above my head, uh, the Cyberstorm Gaming Media Team, and Hot Dog Alicia is actually sort of the manager, or is the manager, I guess of the team so uh really they are good streamers oh my goodness am i close to <laughs> there's there's me being a, a hyperactive three-year-old again um always getting distracted by things uh yeah so they're <laughs> they uh you're too nice Kevin, I'm not that great. 
you know, you always say bad things about yourself or, or you know, that you, you have a garbage stream or you're a garbage streamer or whatever. You are a good, very good streamer. I have always enjoyed the streams of yours that I've watched. You're very nice. Well, at least you're very nice to me. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody in this world who you're not nice to. I mean, you you do sometimes torment Amazulu Gaming, but uh, in a nice way. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't appreciate it. You don't. You don't what? You don't torment... You don't torment Shayna? <laughs> I think she would agree with me that you do. <laughs> but you torment her in a way that maybe she doesn't want you to stop tormenting her. <laughs> I would say that that's a possibility. Never gonna find another snake pit. <laughs> so I am coming up on the two hour mark. Normally that would mean I would be ending my stream, but I'm actually having quite a bit of fun. And uh, what I am going to do though, is I'm gonna take a brief break. I need to, hey, um, I haven't seen one of those before. I bet it's very dangerous. Let's see. Yes, I let's see. I never torment baby Ams. Yes, I agree with Kevin. And then I'm not sure what emoji that is. They don't look very good on on Twitch. Uh, Hot dog Alicia. I agree with Kevin. She doesn't love me, Kevin. You know, I bet she does. You just need to someday travel to the U.S., meet her in person, and see if she's going to follow through. <laughs> or if it's all just moans and writhing. <laughs> It was like two ogre kings, I think. Eh, Urgle. Anyway, so in just a few minutes here, I am going to take a brief break and then come back and stream some more. I think after you max dex and speed on all your characters, you should try to learn how to do abysses. So I have actually, um, here, I'm just going to head back to the, I have actually done, I, I solo cleared an abyss. I successfully solo cleared one. And then the next time I went into an abyss, I died. <laughs> so I kind of know how to do them. Um, I mean, it's not that I, I, I have no chance of doing them, obviously. I've done one. But, uh, yeah, I probably should get a lot more experience. And I do have the keys. I mean, I have... Two abyss keys. Abysses drop bit vitality and drop defense a lot too. Well, that's cool. Anyway, so like I said, I'm going to take a brief break. <laughs> Excuse me, by the way, I belched again. I'm going to take a brief break and I will be right back in a couple of minutes. Amuse yourself in chat while I'm gone.
Hi, I'm back. And uh, yes, Laurel delayed my return by a whole, well, 30 seconds maybe, actually. Um, so if you got bored, blame my wife. Oh. <laughs> Ah, let's see. Um, Peacock, Peacock, sorry. Thank you very much for that follow. I had not, uh, I, I was paying way too much attention to the game and uh, didn't notice it at the time, but if you're still here, thank you very much for the follow. Um, so, there, I guess. Oh, I need to. <laughs> I don't want to throw this ring away. Um, so speaking of dungeons, the dungeon that I have uh, the most comfort with beyond, uh, I mean, the, the sprite worlds are fun, usually. I think I died not that long ago in a sprite world because I was an idiot, but uh, is the undead lair. So, um, that is usually the one that I start looking for. Yeah, you can see I've been to the <laughs> I've been to the Sprite World a few times. Um, yeah, these are all with other people's help. Um, and where is yes? So that's the one. Yeah, I I I tend to um, look at that one next just because it's the one that I'm most comfortable with. Am I going to have to throw this ring out in the Nexus? Is there another ring that I could throw out in the Nexus? No, I already have. I mean, I still have one, even if I throw this one away. Okay, I still have two. Still have three. <laughs> I don't need four of them. All right, so I will throw that out. Oh, but there's a T. There's another T three ring of defense, and I know that the health is better. I know it, but I just I I really prefer the ring of defense for not taking the hit <laughs> over um, just being able to withstand it because I have more hit points. So. If anybody is looking for a tier three ring of health, people, please stop throwing tier zero stuff out in the Nexus. It's garbage. Nobody wants it. Anyway, tier three ring of health. There you go. U.S. Midwest 2 Nexus. And there's another one. Oh, oh that's a big insect. Uh -huh. Let's see. So that's 75 and is the only... Wow, it's the only portal <laughs> right now. That's a little unusual. So you might notice there is a little blue dot indicating that I have friends requests. I am super shy, <laughs> which is a weird thing. It's a weird thing to uh, say if you're a Twitch streamer, obviously. But I really am. People who know me IRL can probably confirm that. I do not need any Tier 2 rings. Um, I take a long time to warm up to people. And so if I just sort of encounter you in the game and you hang out with me, all that I touch turns to Dutch. dust, says the lich. Well, that's too bad. Um, if I encounter you in game and you run with me for a little while and you go, hey, this is kind of a cool dude, or, you know, you, you lurk in my stream for a little while and you go, hey, I like him. I'm going to send him a friend's request. I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just because I'm a weirdo. But I probably will not immediately um, friend you back. Uh, eventually, I mean, if I get to know you well enough, I will. And uh, it, but it, it will probably take longer 
than you would normally think it would for a normal human being <laughs> for me to warm up to you. Yeah, from looking at my vault, you can tell which dungeons I run a lot of. Um, and Abyss of Demons is not one of them. So yes, if I max out on Dexterity, I don't remember what Undead Lair gives you. I probably will, would, you know, on all my characters, if I max out on dexterity, I probably would then go to whatever it is that the undead lair gives you, unless that's speed or dexterity, but I don't think it is. Um, so, <sighs> with my... sort of hyperactive toddler method of playing the game it takes me a long time to max so that's not something i really worry about a lot oh only two remaining heroes of oryx here so um yeah I have gotten two eight two slash eight characters characters up to two slash eight, um, and I've got characters. I mean, obviously, I've got characters to one slash eight. That's not that hard. Uh, it's been very rare that unless I've got some sort of, you know, like candy that boosts stats, that I've gotten anything above two slash eight. Not that it's never happened, but it it's very rare. Oh, stupid dodgy little sprite. All right, actually aim at what you want to shoot at. There we go. Um, okay, so lesson learned. Those are those cause damage. Don't run over them. And where is this Urgle that I'm going to kill? <laughs> All right, there. T3 Helm? Nope. Oh, well, that's different. And the realm is closing. Yay. Well, maybe I'll get really lucky and find a snake pit before it actually closes. Come on, quit dodging. Oh, it's another Urgul. How exciting. All you drop is a spider den. Or maybe some treasure, but I usually get good stuff out of an Urgul. T3 skull. Nope, don't need that. Um, oh wow, that, that was exciting. Um, hey, I have found the god lands. That person actually shooting magical notes? Um, somebody must have already killed that Urgul. Thank you for doing your part in Urgul eradication. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything good in here, but a T6 and a T2. Nope. Just 
wanted a nice beach to AFK on for a sec. <laughs> yeah, and now you're going to get sent to the to the castle. Uh, no snake pit for me. Oh. Ha. Well. I will hang out here for a little bit. But if it happens like it did last time where I was suddenly getting terrible lag, Yeah, I'll be back here. <laughs> Lag always happens at least once in Castle, yeah. But this, I mean, last time it was just terrible. Like, unplayably bad. All right. All right. Wow, they all went after me there. <laughs> I think I'm heading out. It was fun while it lasted. Oh, that's even more crowded than this one is. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, when the when the monsters start like phasing through walls, I start not trusting the uh the game to not just like insta kill me. Go from you're fine to you're dead. <laughs> that time I just left because I that that room that we were about to go to scares me <laughs> right now as a squishy little priest unless there's somebody who who's going to make it their goal you know some heavy armor dude to stand between me and the shots um i would be scared to go in there <laughs> Not that I haven't gone in there and survived, I have, but I just don't feel like dying right now, I guess. Ha! <sighs> so once again, thank you everybody who is here. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for lurking or chatting or just being you. I hope you are enjoying the stream. Even if you might be cursing me because I, <laughs> I am not teleporting.
I hope you are enjoying me enjoying the game. Because I do enjoy this game. Hey, lots of people here. <sighs> I don't think I've mentioned it recently, probably earlier this stream, but I do also have a YouTube channel. I upload all of my streams there, well, almost all. So if you want to see some of my past streams, if you're enjoying this one, you could go there to find my past streams. And I do sometimes upload non-stream videos as well. Some of them are gaming related. Some of them are more, hey, I was at this event related. Um, so yeah, if you, if you want to see more of me, if, if my streaming is not enough of me, <laughs> I can't imagine that's true, but, <laughs> uh, Hergel, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel and the uh, URL for it. Well, I don't think actually the URL, but my channel name is up there above my head. It's the same as my, my Twitch name, Kevin G. Austin. So it would be, the URL would be uh, www.youtube.com. Oh my goodness, I was way down on health. Um, slash C slash Kevin G. Austin with a capitalization just as it is on my Twitch name. A, G, and A all capitalized. Yeah, I almost let myself die back there because I wasn't paying attention enough to you want to find out let's see when I am going to be streaming I have a discord the URL for that is up there and uh, so that's the invite link I post to my Discord whenever I'm going to go live. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I also post to my Twitter when I am going live. Well, almost every time. There's There's been a couple of times where I've forgotten and then an hour later realized I hadn't posted. But I try to remember to post go live messages. Um, no, I don't want to go into a spider den right now. So those are both ways that you can find more, you know, find out more if I'm streaming. Obviously, if you are following me on Twitch and you want to find out if I'm streaming, you can turn on notifications and then Twitch will let you know when I am streaming, when I go live. But not everybody likes to have notifications on. I can understand that. Maybe you only kind of like <laughs> my stream and you don't want to have to be bothered with notifications. In which case, you know, join my Discord or follow me on Twitter. You know, not that long ago, just, just maybe a couple of weeks ago, someone kind of made fun of my gameplay, um, which certainly is their right. I, I absolutely admit I do not play this game very well, but I think I play better than I did when I started by a lot. And though I often notice when I don't dodge, for instance,
I, I think I'm doing better. <laughs> I can just say that. Um, all right. Oh, come on. Die. There. Ah. Oh, shoot at the actual enemy. Yes, pro tip, shoot at the enemy you're trying to <laughs> trying to kill. <laughs> Don't just like shoot near them. And yes, another T3 orb. Yeah, it's it's unlikely that I'm going to actually find a a treasure drop for something that I want here but it's not impossible it has happened excuse me again maybe i should do you accept donations i do not as a matter of fact accept donations thank you very much for asking I certainly appreciate the, the generosity in evidence by the fact that people keep asking me if I accept donations, but I do not. So thank you for the offer, but no. Um, I decided when I was uh, going to start streaming Realm of the Mad God that I would not accept donations. I would play with the gear that the game gave me or that I got, you know, that I got through play or um, from the login calendar or, okay, where's the, where's the squid face that's ruling all these guys? There we are. And that is a T3 spell, so no. I have had many people offer to donate stuff to me. And I always appreciate it. It's very nice of people to look at my gear and go, wow, that's that's pretty crummy. Uh, <laughs> I could give him much better gear. Uh huh. But I decided to play this way because this is the way I enjoy playing the game. Oh, somebody woke the Kagekame. Oh, okay. He is. The Kagekami is dead. Yeah, so I know my gear isn't that great. It's okay. It's certainly good enough to handle this area as long as I am careful. E7. Nope. There you are. Oh, snake bit. Thank you. And it's good enough to handle a snake pit, usually. Once again, as long as I, I don't do something stupid, <laughs> which I, I have done many times, things that are stupid. Not just in realm, but in life as well. But, uh... Realm of the Mad God can certainly show you why doing stupid things is uh, is a bad idea. My goodness. Ah. 
Huh. Well, that was exciting. So that was a very long answer to a fairly simple question, which I could have just said no. But I do want people to know that I appreciate it when, when they offer to donate stuff to me. Now, if you're talking about um, cheering bits in the channel, thank you, Killing Spree 226. Thank you very much for the follow. And Toby Twitch 007, thank you very much for the follow. If you're talking about cheering in the channel with bits or uh, subscribing to my channel, I absolutely uh, am fine with that um, as a way to show support for my channel. In the game, I do not accept donations. I don't really need any more of those. If you don't like watching people run snake pits, um, today's stream is probably very bad for you. <laughs> Though I am closing in on max speed, so maybe even this stream I will, you know, all I need are seven more. Who knows, maybe I will find another, this has happened to me only once and fairly recently, another snake pit with four treasure rooms. <laughs> oh, my, my fingers got kind of crossed up there. Um, which, you know, four treasure rooms plus a boss, that's five, uh, five potions. Are you surprised that they added more gear to the snake pit drop list? Yes. I didn't think that they would be doing anything with the existing dungeons. I thought they were completely focused on, on the Unity port. I mean, I know they still do... Uh, seasonal events stuff like stuff like that but uh maybe they thought everybody was so bored with um the snake pit that they weren't doing it and they wanted more people running snake pits i don't know hey it's the boss room just turn on auto fire You know, I I so infrequently get good drops. Uh, I I I I am not even thinking about getting anything out of out of the snake pit. That's good. <laughs> I just. The one time I got a white bag. It was out of the snake pit not that long ago, and I was astounded. It's like, oh my goodness, how am I getting a white bag? <sighs> I need to pay more attention to my hit points. So it would be great to get some ST gear. but I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm always surprised when they change something that's been the same for quite a while. The new gear is actually pretty common? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I will actually get something. Uh -huh. So, that's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Hey, treasure room. Oh, great, I got dazed. Um, there's that thing where I need to actually aim at my opponent. I only got him down to orange. Almost done. Um, hey, there you go. And potion of seed, of course. So, one treasure room. Will there be more? Probably not. Let's look at the map. So there's an exit down here, and looks like there's an exit over here. That's probably about it. So yeah, if I keep running snake pits, I suppose I will eventually find it if it actually is that common. There, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, very short tunnel. <laughs> well. Surprise. Okay, well, multiple choice, I guess. Um, yeah, they're giving me lots of options here. Big snake pit, yeah.
Hey, it's another treasure room. So this snake pit is getting me quite a ways on my uh, goal, towards my goal of uh, maxing speed. Where'd you go? There you are. And of course I, I run into a dazed. Ouch. And where are you? There you are. And a ah, potion of speed. All right. I was wondering why there was a like a pillar there, but it's sometimes the uh, entrance or exit to a room, whichever you want to call it, has one of those in it. Not sure why. All right, so I will be done with this one fairly soon. Snake pit, that is. Not much left. Let's see now. This man is so lucky I can never find treasure rooms. Well, I've run a bunch of snake pits today. Eventually, you will find the treasure rooms. Is this actually another exit? It is. Hmm. There's not, not really any room for much over here, but... D2. Create a new Realm client. Hmm. That would be challenging. Not impossible. <laughs> but probably more work than I'm willing to put in. So, I think that's everything. Not seeing anywhere else that I can go. The one that Decca made is so bizarre. It's not that it's not that hard. I made it in about 2 days. Okay. Um that was the wrong way. I did not mean to go that way. Why did I go that way? It's not like I really need the completion. I've already completed a bunch of snake pits. Not like a running count that matters. But hey, I did a solo clear. I want the credit for for this snake pit. And yes, it's this way.
Cool flex. Hmm. Suiciding all my characters for one hundred dollars on God. Hmm. I want to give you a hundred dollars and don't really want to promote people suiciding all their characters. Once again, I hope everybody is enjoying this stream. Thank you to everybody participating in chat. Thank you to all the lurkers. You help my stream. All right, is there a, yep, there he is. Uh, what do I have now? Four. Four more. Wow. That's a lot of those. Uh, all you dropped was a pink bag. Let's see. It's chill. Yeah, I like to have a, a chill stream. So, well, at least you dropped a purple bag. Nothing I want. This is chill and fun to watch. Well, thank you. Yeah. It's Doc. I got to you without teleporting. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's an accomplishment. <laughs> but you really don't have to play the way I play. If you want to teleport to me, that is fine. But if it if it makes it more fun for you, Yay, go right ahead. Oh, that was interesting. Very, very weird glitch. What, is, what keeps happening? It, it, it's like... And I know that, you know, glitch, yeah, there, that. <laughs> That particular glitch is just weird. And I know that's kind of the theme, you know, the machine glitch, etc. but uh, kind of strange. <laughs> Anything in here I care about? Well, there's a tree. I got to put on my speed ring to catch up. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to outrun you, I, I promise. 
Whoa, that was stupid. No, actually shoot at the opponent. Is that an item that's doing that? Oh wow. I was getting more more lag there. All right, that was nice and fast. Going to the rubber ducky ship soon. All right. Well, have fun. Come on. Ah, snake pit going in. Yeah, let's see which way. Uh, this way. Whoa. I just don't like leaving monsters behind me. Uh, dead end, all right. And here we are. Uh. You dudes can just drop dead, okay? Oh, come on. And potion of speed, a snakeskin shield, which I don't want. And a mark of steno. What is the pog champ? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't. Uh... I don't know if it's an item they have or or what it is. Actually, I'm getting a little thirsty, so I'm going to get some water. Pause here a moment. Ah. Ah. All right, back to the game.
Now, when people do that, T9 leather slash T8 armor for sword, they do realize there's a trading forum on Realmi, right? <laughs> Where you can make offers. And I don't know if it's useful anymore. Somebody was saying that trading isn't isn't useful anymore, and I would assume that means that that forum isn't. And that's the Shield of Pogmer from the machine. Basically, it's a bad version of Ogmer. Okay. Well, that explains that. Yeah, I thought it was something to do with, with the glitch theme. Hey! Um, because it, it, it was sort of like a glitch kind of thing. I thought, well, that's probably what it's related to. Um, I did not know which particular item it was. The right way or the wrong way? That's got to be the wrong way. What's down there? Yep, that's the wrong way. Oh! Come on. Oh, I'm always disappointed when he doesn't drop a candy land. I know it's not a guaranteed drop. I know that. <laughs> I just... You have to chase him all over the place. <laughs> then he doesn't drop anything sometimes. Or often, I guess. So... Well, considering the fact that I started today with this character at 13th level, I would say getting up to, what is it, 265 fame today is not bad. Uh, I hate you, Urgul. Please die. With your multiple status effects and... All the other reasons you're annoying. Armor break and blindness and, and the lag you cause. Yeah, let's see now. It, it's, da, 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 da. it's still useful. Oh, okay. Yeah, the 0 0.5 second armor break is very useful, and the 0 0.75 range. Wow, that's very swirly, whatever that is. <laughs> Where is your God? 
Not anywhere then. Okay. Yeah, like I'm go Oh, it's a cool shrine, not a skull shrine. There you are. Wow. You got a lot of friends. And now they're all dead. Didn't drop anything. Rue the day that he defiled your cool shrine, huh? All right. Well, that's about three hours. Um, just check something. And no, and no. And sure. Um... I would like to do a Twitch raid. So I would like... <laughs> wow, for some reason, on my phone, and the 0 0.75 range showed up as and the link deleted range. Not sure why. Anyway, so I would like everybody to come along with me. If you would, please. We are going to raid Twisted Tessa. Oh, I should probably check to make sure she's actually active. And not about to end stream, for instance. No, she looks like she's in the middle of stuff. All right. A raid is when I send all of the uh, people in my channel over to the channel of someone who I, well, I mean, I like as a streamer or as a person. Uh, Twisted Tessa is mostly a Destiny 2 streamer. She does occasionally stream some other stuff, but she is a very nice woman. And I hope you all uh, come over with me. Thank you, Jim. Uh, come over with me and, uh, and say hi to her. Give her a follow. Unless you hate Destiny 2, then, then maybe not. But whatever. So here we go. In a few seconds, we should... Be heading over to Twisted Tessa.